Hi, let's see Kolmogorov Smirnov test, commonly known as a case test for computer simulation and modeling. The case test is a statistical hypothesis test. It is a non parametric and entirely agnostic test. This test can be used to compare actual data to normal distribution. The cumulative probabilities of value in the data are compared with the cumulative probabilities in a theoretical normal distribution. In the case test, we need to prove the null hypothesis and null hypothesis is a sample taken from a normal distribution. Now case test follows few simple things. It is the critical value which is d alpha where alpha is the level of significance is found from the case table values for one sample test and if not provided the default value for d alpha is 0 0.565 where the alpha is the level of significance. The two criteria which need to be followed for the case test is an acceptance criteria and a rejection criteria. If the calculated value is less than the critical value then we accept the null hypothesis that is the calculated value is stored in D and the critical value given is D alpha. If the calculated value D is less than D alpha then we accept the null hypothesis that is whatever we want to prove we say it is accepted and if the null hypothesis is not accepted then it is rejected by saying if the value of D is greater than D alpha then we say that the null hypothesis is rejected and we can say alternate hypothesis is accepted. Now the few limitations to the KS test it only applies to the continuous distributions of data. It tends to be more sensitive near the center of the distribution than its tail. Tail is a start and the end where my test starts and where my test ends. So the KS test is more sensitive at the center and not at the tails and it is typically determined by the simulation. Now as I said it has two hypotheses which needs to be followed. It is HO which stands for the null hypothesis and HA is an alternative hypothesis. That is if my null hypothesis is not accepted then my alternate hypothesis is accepted. So if my null hypothesis is the data follow a specified distribution then my alternate will be the data do not follow the specified distribution. You see that the two statements are just opposite to each other. So the null and the alternate hypothesis are nothing but two things which are reverse to each other. But we need to prove whether my null hypothesis is accepted or rejected. So the formula for the statistical calculation for the case test is D is equal to max for 1 less than equal to y less than equal to n where n is the total count of data that we have for distribution. This is the frequency of y minus i minus 1 upon n which is the count comma i divided by n minus f of y i. So the maximum of these two values we have to calculate and whatever the result we get will be the answer for d. When I say max of 1 less than equal to y less than equal to n which means that when I calculate this value I need to find the max of this then I need to find the max of the second part of my formula and the maximum of 2 will be taken and this maximum of 2 will be my value for D. Let's start with an example consider the five sequence of data these are the numbers 0 0.15, 0 0.94, 0 0.05, 0 0.51 and 0 0.29 my level of significance is 0 0.05 and the critical value d alpha is 0 0.565 which is given and then null hypothesis that I need to prove is whether the hypothesis of uniformity can be rejected. So my null hypothesis is whether the uniformity can be rejected. So if when I'm doing the calculation the value of d is less than d alpha then I will say my null hypothesis is accepted and uniformity can be rejected. So let's start. Consider the sequence of five numbers. Level of significance alpha is 0 0.05. Critical value d alpha is 0 0.565. So this is the table that we will generate. 
the value of i is 1 2 3 4 5 this is nothing but the count of this is the frequency that we have given 1 2 3 4 5 f of y i is the numbers that we got as an input numbers so they are arranged if you see from the smaller to the larger number 0 0.05 0 0.15 0 0.29 0 0.51 and 0 0.94 the first thing we need for the formula is i upon n i is the frequency which is varying from 1 2 3 4 5 and this 1 2 3 4 5 will be doing the calculation i upon n where n is the 5 n is equal to 5 which is the maximum count so 1 upon 5 I get 0 0.2, 2 upon 5 0.4, 3 upon 5 0.6, 4 upon 5 0.8 and 5 upon 5 is 1. Now for the Dmax formula I need I divided by n minus f of y i. So what I need to do is I have to subtract this minus this value. As I keep doing this so point Two minus 0 0.05 I get 0.15 0 0.4 minus 0 0.15 I get 0 0.25 0 0.31 how do I get from 0 0.6 I subtract 0 0.29 and I get this value 0 0.8 minus 0 0.51 I get 0 0.29 and 1 minus 0 0.94 I get 0 0.06. Now as for my final calculation I need f of y minus 1 minus 1 i minus 1 upon n so I have calculated the values over here. So this i minus 1 is basically taken in a bracket format. You can say i minus 1 is 1 minus 1 0 0 upon 5 is 0 so the value comes here and then i minus 1 upon 5 the calculations will start. So this is the values that I get. So I write it over here. And then f of y minus i minus i minus 1 upon n. So the two values that we have got over here and over here. We do the calculations and we get the values 0 0.05 minus 0 0.05 minus 0 0.11 minus 0 0.09. One thing we need to be very careful and remember wherever I get a negative values they have to be removed or they have to be rejected and removed from my calculations. As I have got this table over here. Now we need to find out d of max. Now when I need to find out this d of max I need to first find the maximum of these two variables. So to find the maximum of these two variables I have highlighted over here f of y of i minus i minus 1 divided by n that is I am calculating the value for this which I will be seeing here. So when I find the maximum out of this I get the value as 0 0.14 as the two values I have is 0 0.05 and 0 0.14. The maximum is 0 0.14 as all negative values are rejected. Now max of i upon n minus f of yi the maximum value out of this is 0 0.31. So I get the value over here. Now in the final formula over here we have f of yi minus i minus 1 upon n the value is 0 0.14 which is the value for this and i upon n minus f of y i the value is 0 0.31 which is over here. So when I substitute 0 0.14 over here and 0 0.31 over here and I find the maximum so I get the value d is equal to 0 0.31 which is the maximum of the two. So what we say is if d is less than d alpha so my d is 0 0.31 my d alpha is 0 0.565 so as my d is less my null hypothesis is accepted so what I need to prove in the beginning whether uh, my null hypothesis is accepted or no so using this case test we've proved that for this particular situation my null hypothesis is accepted thank you